Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. My name is Hal, and in the last episode I left off with this beautiful scenery of the tenacious and dastardly Chairman Drek's new planet thing. I can't even, I don't even remember what the name of that planet is called. But yeah, also we are in the hangar of this awesome space jet fighter thing. Yes, that. And yeah, we've got another fighter jet mission, yay! Now, compared to the last ones, this is really easy. Now, but one thing you do have to be very careful of is, uh... Stay your distance, keep... Oh, yeah, go away, go away, go away, go away, stop shooting at me. Keep your distance from the ship, because it is very easy to get a little bit too close to a ship, and the kill box of them are ridiculous, and you die really easily by just flying close to a bugger off to one of these ships. So yeah, we're destroying the tenacious... Tenacious turrets? I like that. I love how these things just sort of fly right in front of you. Right for the picking. Yeah, the turrets that were blocking away because uh, in the last episode, as I said earlier in the... Oh, look, it's Velden! Hello, Velden! Uh, hello! Wow, you're really close. I love how these ships are also uh, just dragging a planet. Oh, no, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, thank you. Look, they're just, just dragging a planet. So we're going to destroy these turrets. Literally, all you have to do is destroy the turrets. As long as you stay your distance away from the ships, and don't, hello, don't kill yourself by flying into them. This is ridiculously easy. I also love how all the little planet, uh, the little planets, all the ships that you were in before, you can see from the outside now. Let's see if we can find our ship before we finish off. Uh, nope, it's not that. I think that was the light. This one is the light cruiser. Is it? Uh, I believe it's actually that one. Let's see if we can find it just before we uh, blow everything up. No, that's the one with the the terminal thing with the loads of random buttons. Don't blow myself up. Was it this one? Yes, I believe it's that one. That's the observation deck where the uh, code bot was. Aye. Well, where is it? Where is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, Anyway, let's get back to uh, blowing these things up. Oh, it is this big ship in the middle. We were just in something else. Uh, uh, and, well, I think you can see our ship. Uh, don't fly into the turret. That's the last thing you want to do. I think your ship's actually in there. I'm not going to fly close. Yeah, it's in that bit there. But I'm not going to fly close enough so you can see because that would probably inevitably end up in my death. And that my death is not good. My death is not a good thing. Yeah, these turrets are really weak, and it's really easy to just kill them. Uh, if you get a little bit low on health, all you really need to do is to pick off on these. Pick off one of these fighters, or a couple of these fighters that are just flying around. There's tons of them, and just stock up on health. I think we can take out both of them in this run. You can't lock onto these turrets, though, so you kind of have to guess a bit. Come on, die, 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 die. Yes! Mission completed! See? easy as pie. And now we're back in here, and we can go back outside. Back the way we came, flip upside down, and you notice there are no... I don't know why, for starters, the cannons are like firing. Maybe they just knew that you were sort of sneaking about, even though you're supposed to be sneakily uh, infiltrating these ships. But they just knew that you were there, and they were trying to blast you off. Hello, platform. Right, so now we want to go back down. Come on. I love how as soon as you enter the force field, boop, there goes your helmet. Oh god, more dogs. Now we need to avoid these... Ah, the dogs don't seem to be much of a problem at the moment. We're going to avoid these lasers. Does that come up? Come up to there. This is easy as pie. Pie's pretty damn easy. But don't worry, dogs. You shall get your come up, uh, come up, comeuppance, comeuppance, sooner or later. Well, quite soon actually, because now 
Your first instinct is to just carry on through that door, but no! No, we do not want to do that. We want to turn around and go back the way we came. Because... If I get uh, the blaster out just to make light work of these things. They don't really do much moving these, do they? Come on, come on. There we go. Now, we have to dodge these lasers again. We have to dodge these lasers a third time, unfortunately. Uh, so that was the roof thing, but we want to go this way. Die, die, die before he gets to hit the laser, thank you. Not the laser. The uh, button. Just kill all these dogs. Uh, get all the bolts. There are some bolts. Oh god, there's loads. So you've got tons of money. We nearly, nearly... Oh no, we haven't. We've got two thirds of the way to get in the Tesla core. Uh, go through here. Whoa, that was ninja. What the hell? That was ninja as well. Don't jump before he fires. Oh my god, he can shoot through walls. Got him. Right now, how do I get across here? Uh... Oh, health. Need health. Need the health. Oh, that was close. Nah, more freaking lasers, man. Don't. Uh, how do I get across here? Oh, right, that. <laughs> oh, that was more uh, dramatic than I made. <laughs> made that more dramatic than it had to be. There we go. We've got another one of these door things that we'll break in a minute after getting some much needed health. It's like, they give you health at the end of that thing as if they expect you to need it. And... Boop! Break that. And we're back here, which is kind of annoying. It means, uh, at least we can go a sort of less dangerous way back. I will meet you at the place where I turned back on myself, if that makes sense. You know what, I'm not going to describe it, just teleport! Right. See, I never understood before why the, you didn't just sort of walk off the edge of that magna boot uh, course and just drop down so you're the right way up. But for the first time ever, when there's actually something to catch you, you can't walk off the magna boot. You can't, just can't walk off it. Okay, we don't need the holo guys, so I was just being safe. Now this looks familiar, does it not? Tonight on Blonde TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. Well, um... Yeah. That's, uh... That was over quicker than I expected. Um, we've actually got quite a bit of time left, so what I am going to do is uh, let's go and get what that. Let's go back to core two and uh, go and get that uh, gold bolt. Might as well. Um, so yeah, we've now as I'm. Uh, I'm not going to bother editing. Um, so yeah, we've now got um, the coordinates to go to. If uh, Clank will hurry his sweet ass up and get back in my ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back to Veldin. Even though we were in orbit again, it makes no sense. But yeah, we can go back to Veldin and we can go and... Well, Veldin is the first and last episode uh, episode level of the game. But before we go there, as I said, we're going to go back to Core 2 and get that... <coughs> last... Ah... Last gold bolt. That's cool. That was a cool angle. 
And um, I, one thing I should probably do is check whether or not we can get a new weapon. Because I think the Tesla Claw is the last weapon to sort of reveal itself, you know, become available. But I'm interested. Very, very interested. Come on. There we go. Don't need to see it this time. Uh, right, where's the Fiketatron vendor? Anything new? Anything interesting? Where's the Tesla Claw? Nearly there. We might get it by yeah, the end of uh, Velden. But. Uh, provided we don't get anything else. I really want the Tesla Claw. It's one of my favourite weapons. Because it's just so damn cool. But it's not meant to be right now, apparently. Um, so... Alright, so where we want to go is the first course. The first, um... The first path, not course. Or course or path or whatever. And I so where just be well, you remember where it was. I'll meet you there. Right, here we go. It's a lot easier this place the second time round. Ow. Yeah. Because uh the guy is there oh look, there's the giant clank pad. Can we get it? I wonder if we can activate it now. Can we? Yep, we can for no apparent reason. I don't know what that'll do though. Because there's nothing to fight. But yeah, here we are, and boom! In he goes, just sort of spread eagles. Not only does it unlock a gold bolt, but an absolute sh ton of boxes, which have disappeared. I'm oh no, they're still there. Seriously, if I had the box breaker, you know that thing you get in Ratchet and Clank 2, which uh... oh my god! was in here? Because now all of a sudden I've got 37,000. How is that? Where did it What? I, I, I am so confused. <laughs> I've randomly just got about 20,000 worth of bolts. Just, just randomly. This, this is amusement. I'm going to have to play back my footage and figure out where all these bolts came from. Anyway, so, um, what a pleasant... I'm going to get the gold, the Tesla Claw. What a lovely way to end the episode. Um, I'm, I'm just confused because I swear I had 21,000 when I was there earlier. And now all of a sudden I have a ridiculous amount. Did I just get like a 10,000 bonus or something? Anyway. So now we have 38,000 and that, that's going to leave like 8,000 more. Um, there it is. Bye. And just stock up on ammo. And the ammo is dirt cheap as well. It's the same as the Parasita. Oh yeah. Why not Zoidberg? I love the Tesla Claw. It makes things so much easier. Um, so on that note, I'm going to leave the episode there. Great way to end the episode. Um, so uh, in the next episode, we're going to head back to Velden and start the final level of the game. Um, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. But that means we've got probably about only two episodes left of this game and of this LP. So, um, you know, beginning of the end. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I have been Hal Diamond and I shall see you next time. Cheers.